Marco Governali again, 747 uh, Flight Simulator. So we cover the computer mm, as far as the hardware, we cover the warping software, we cover several things. Now we're going to talk about setting up the computer itself. Okay, first of all, if you want to take this to a serious level, you need to basically have a computer that you use uh, just for the simulator. With this simulator, with this computer, I do not do anything else but the simulation. I mean, I have another four computers in the house between my wife and I, but this is specifically for the simulator, nothing else. I don't even browse the internet with this. So, basically, setting up the computer, <coughs> it's extremely important, setting it up properly. Um, I stay with the Windows 7 Pro 64. Why Windows 7, even though it's a few years old, is because it's tried and true, everything is compatible, you're not going to have any problems. Windows 8 is out of the question, that was a total failure. I mean, yes, if it's tuned up properly, there's not much wrong with it, but Windows 8 was one of these things, it just was not um, um, a good uh, system. Uh, Windows, Windows 10 looks very promising, especially after the release of the service pack. But again, it's too new and it just, yeah, it will work perfect, of course, with the prepared and, and other newer simulators like um, um, FS, FX11, um, X-Plane 11, I should say. But I use FS2004. I'm going to talk about that in the next video, why I use FS2004. Um, but Windows 7 64 is my favorite. Now you must go the Pro if you want to see the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Otherwise, no matter how much RAM you have on your motherboard, it can only read the home version. That is, can only read 12. Uh, I mean, 16 gigabytes. Okay. So as far as tuning uh, Windows properly, basically it's a matter of eliminating or preventing from starting all of the things you're not going to need. So I mean, Windows has fax uh, capabilities. And there has a, a networking capabilities, of course, and, and so many other things. And reporting back to Microsoft for every little issue that your computer has, or just, you know, it's continuously keeping tabs on everything you do, and it's continuously sending reports back. You must disable all of that uh, if you want the computer to run a top notch. I mean, this computer starts in about... 12 to 14 seconds. I am not kidding you. Forget about Norton antivirus. Forget about McAfee. Those are way, way too heavy. What I use is, let me show you here, is Panda. Panda is, uh, it does the job. Of course, I know how not to get infected. I never get infected because, of course, I clean f at least five computers a day, customers' computers, and I see how they get infected. Uh, so, and as you can see, my antivirus is actually disabled. When I fly, I actually disable, so there's no interference whatsoever, but I never get infected. If you want to know how, leave a comment and I'll tell you how. Um, let's see. Th those are the programs up there. Now, CCleaner is a lifesaver. You clean your computer at least once a week with CCleaner. Uh, if you have a solid state hard drive, um, uh, for example, I have Intel, so there is an Intel utility which optimizes the hard drive before I use it and so on and so forth so keep your computer nice and light I mean if you're gonna do Facebooking and everything else any email and this and that and play different games your computer just is not gonna be um, lean and mean the way it should be you know if you can afford it uh, just have a computer dedicated to the flight simulation and that's it and in my opinion the reason why most people opt to go with four, five, six network computers instead of just one is simply put because most folks do not know how to tune their computers properly. Uh, I see this all the time. Believe me, I'm not exaggerating. 98% of computers that come to me, uh, to my shop, are not tuned properly. People just cannot believe the difference five minutes of tuning can do. And of course, it takes a whole hour or an hour and a half to tune it completely, but in five minutes, the performance of your computer can be doubled at least if you know what you are doing and fairly easily. So, um, instead of using several computers at once, just I went with one powerful computer tuned to the gills, and it just it it, it just can't beat that. But keep it simple, keep it 
lean, keep it mean, and you're going to be okay. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will address them. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.